Let's talk about how to filter traffic to and from the AnyConnect client when it is connected to the firewall. Traffic that is initiated from the client where the first packet goes in direction from the client to the protected network. Traffic is normally bypassing the outside access list of the firewall because of this checkbox. Bypass interface access list for inbound VPN session. That means that inbound traffic that's initiated from the client is not filtered on the outside access list, on the outside interface. Traffic coming from the internal network going out to the VPN client where the first packet in the flow is outbound, that traffic is handled as every other traffic that is outbound in the interface access list, in this inside access list in this case. Traffic is filtered inbound on the inside interface, no matter if it is going out on internet or going into the tunnel. So traffic that is initiated from the inside to the VPN client needs to be past this access list on the inside. This is normally not a big deal because most traffic when it comes to AnyConnect is actually initiated from the client to some kind of internal resources. So we need to find a way to filter traffic without unchecking this checkbox. Because if we do that, all traffic inbound needs to be applied in the outside interface access list as well. It's not a very good idea to do that. There is another way to filter traffic. The function is called VPN filter. The VPN filter is very powerful because it can be added different filters. The filters are added to the group policies, depending on which group policy the client is using or logging into, they can have different filters. As you will see, when it comes to dynamic access policies, we can even build the filter dynamically, and that's really powerful. Let's first see how we can granularly filter traffic that's coming in from the VPN client to internal resources. I have a ongoing VPN session from my Windows client. It is a split tunnel. It's pinging two internal server IP addresses, 10.0.0.100 and 10.0.0.101. Right now, we are tunneling all traffic that is going to the internal network 10.0.0.0.24 without any granular filtering. And since this is inbound traffic, we need to add this on a VPN filter. Let's see how we can do that. The VPN filter is configured on the group policy and we find the group policies here. Under group policy, under more options, we find something called filter. That's what we are looking for. I have already created a filter. It's an access list. It says the name of the access list is VPN filter server 100 only. I can choose that access list and apply that access list to this group policy. The moment I do that, filter will be applied and traffic will be filtered up according to this access list. Let's have a look at the access list first. It is a extended access list. That means that you can filter inbound traffic on a port and protocol level. Since you do not know the IP address of the source, there's no idea to enter anything else than any as source in the access list. I have specified one single line here that says permit IP to 10.0.0.100. That means that all IP traffic to the server 100 on the inside is allowed. Since this is an access list, there is a default implicit deny at the end that is invisible that says that everything that is not permitted is automatically blocked and denied. The idea with this simple access list is to only permit traffic to the 100 IP address. I could say echo here to only allow pings. I could even specify ports or protocols to allow or deny. I can combine and mix permits with deny statements and all other functionalities that exist in an access list. The thing is that this access list will be applied per session when the user logs in with the default group policy. The idea here is that I select that access list. The moment that is applied, I will filter traffic according to that in that session. In order to do that, I need to log out and log in again because the policies are only applied when you log in. Let's do that. During the disconnect, 
I will not reach any of those two servers, which is exactly how it should be. And I log in. After that, I will reach the 100, but not the 101 IP address. 100 is reachable, while the 101 server is not reachable. This is a very handy way to filter inbound traffic for VPN sessions in AnyConnect.